Hello, hello. Now, what are we playing? We are playing Ravage Livonia. I've played other Ravage missions on Livonia before. So what's so different about this one? Well, there's a couple of things. They've adjusted the way that zombies work. When I say they, it's missions by a chap called Galvarez. Galvarez? I mm, never have much luck with uh, mission authors' names. Um, I'm kind of wondering why. Yeah, yeah, there's some background going on. Like one of those trashy zombie movies. Is that our compass I can actually take? I don't think so. It's a shame, because I need one. Anyway. If you're listening to this message, you must be one of us. Yeah, so what's different about this? Well, the zombies aren't quite so visually sensitive. They are a lot more sensitive to sound. And there's been some playing around with the AI as well. Ooh, such that the AI will fight each other. I don't recognise this type of building. And um, after a certain period, AI can spawn at certain points. I don't recognise this building at all. Well, either way, I think we need to get down from here. I'll do this one third person. I think it makes it for a better video. Just have a look, see, in case there's. See, so often when I do a video, I don't see things that are there. And I get comments from people afterwards going, Dude, didn't you pick up that? You know. interested in oh hello
interested in cycling. Or rather, I am quite interested in cycling. Olympic cycling, generally not so much. Um, because it generally doesn't have the best cyclists there. However, Tati Pogaccia, the Tour de France winner, is there. And often, you know, when someone's uh, an Olympic cycling champion, it's a bit, so what? Yeah. Uh, zombies, unfortunately. I was hoping for something more. Yeah, they don't seem particularly visually cued, shall we say? Oh, it doesn't have as many uh, bunkers as Albania, but quite a few now. I think that guy finally saw me. So I don't like it. You're definitely just decoration. Ah, what happened to this town? said anything about whether I'm on my own or better. Hi. Oh yes, I forgot everything reanimates. So 
Uh. Yep, we're good. survivor groups or anything, I don't know. Excuse me, this place has really seen some damage. But not to the roads, eh? Yes, I shall be looking forward to seeing a bit of Olympic cycling because they're doing Kieran racing. And Kieran is this very weird uh, Japan only thing. It's, it's really a gambling uh, sport. It's done almost like horse racing. Um, but it, it, it is an odd, odd thing. Um, it's a form of track cycling where race around velodromes. Uh, I think it's just been done as an exhibition sport. I can't see it being introduced in actual Olympic sport because hardly anyone does it. I think it's only Japan. Maybe Hong Kong? Cycling, yawn, yawn, yawn. And, oh, I'm going to pick some cycling champion. Yeah, well. And I was quite surprised by the number of people who withdrew from the Tour de France this year in order to prepare for the Olympics. As in, they were part of the Tour de France until it was clear they weren't going to achieve their aims, or they had, and they pulled out in order to go and prep for. The Olympics. Um, Tally Bigotcher stayed and stayed to the end and won. And oh my goodness me, he was just dominant this year. I think he won. Second place guy was five and a half minutes behind him or something. And really, that gap could be much bigger. to see the Olympic cycle. Uh, I used to do a fair amount of cycling myself. Uh, even did a bit of track cycling, even though I don't really like it. at table tennis. I played the national team. Although the country
country in question being Scotland, that wasn't very hard to get on that team. Being willing to turn up was enough. And most of our training sessions involve playing football instead. Uh, soccer type of football. in China once. They were very polite. <laughs> That's the best thing I can say about that match. We struggled to even take a point off them. Not let them win a game. What was that little puff? enjoyed sailing for pleasure rather than uh, racing. I have raced and uh, won a couple of series but eh, not really my kind of thing. It all gets too serious. I'd rather enjoy myself. Uh, fencing? Just do a bit of fencing at my school. Yeah, I can't just sit there. enemy. Yeah, I thought you might. I guess we can assume that this area was abandoned at the fall of, say, communism. Oh, I say no, that's not a very smart thing to say, at the fall of the Soviet Union. so synonymous with communism that it's easy to think of one rather than the other. Why did they walk in there? 
because they heard the sound. Ah, oh, this thing's out of fuel now. <laughs> Precisely out of fuel. Yeah, they did. Must have followed the sound. Interesting. nothing there. A couple of bits of, sort of modern interpretive dance and that was it. Uh, some people running around in red strings. Which somehow said something about something. I had to be told. I wouldn't have known. Britic, but I've never really understood dance. Uh, even ballet. Just don't get it. Oh. Just disappointing. I thought I was going to find something of interest in here, but no, it seems not. I do. I've got 
go to one other magazine. Mm. Yeah, I thought the Olympic opening ceremony was very poor. Just a couple of things and barely happened. And I vaguely remembered uh, seeing mention of the upcoming uh, ceremony that said uh, we're going to see Mario and uh, Akira. Hmm? I'd forgotten all about that. And then we didn't see it at all. There was a little segment in it which I thought was okay, but actually not brilliant, uh, where they recreated all the Olympic um, event icons, signs, I guess. Describing this kinetic somehow, even though in real life none of them are going to move. So I don't see it as very kinetic at all. But they did a sort of little man in blue reenacting them, Bunraku Styli. Uh, but uh, I was used to watch the uh, Kazuo Taisho um, costume parade. If you've ever seen Matrix ping pong uh, clip on the internet, uh, that comes from that show. Kazuo Taisho, Kazuo Akam. A show that I was always astonished that the Japanese never tried to sell to other countries. Well, in actual fact, they did. Oh, there's no ladder climb up. Uh, they tried to sell us a show called Masquerade, uh, but they never sold it to anyone, as far as I can tell, which was a shame. Uh, because it was Japanese people doing clever little sketches and a lot of them were these um, things like the Matrix ping pong and exactly like they were doing with the kinetic sign stuff at the opening ceremony. Although the people on Kazuo Taisho are amateurs and I'd say I thought were more impressive than the thing we actually got to see, half of which was pre-recorded. So, mm. uh, I quite enjoyed the bit where he actually, uh, I think when he did the badminton, he dropped the racket throughout their time. I'm not seeing any obvious place to go. because the director of the opening ceremony was sacked uh, just before, I think like a day before the uh, opening ceremony, which seemed insane. Um, apparently in reference to a sketch on his comedy show almost 25 years ago. bizarre. I mean, really quite bizarre. Um, because when I did actually finally manage to track down and see the sketch, so there's actually nothing offensive there at all. Oh my. It's the kind of wetting rain that I would want to get out of in real life. But I guess people are ultra sensitive when it comes to the Olympics and the number of people who got sacked which is insane, but yeah, it turned out the opening ceremony director had been due to do a more complex opening ceremony, and it was due to feature Mario and Akira and stuff. I was like, oh. Uh, but the creative director who was brought in from a certain advertising company. They're famous for uh, overworking people to the point of death. Um, I, I'm not even kidding about that. It's on my neck. Oh, 
şehir yok bugün. Uh, uh, that guy completely changed everything apparently. Is that just a tree stump? So, oh, so we didn't get any of the fun stuff. We should have got. So, oh, yeah, he sucks. You know, I have no idea what's in my pack. All right, I'm good. Of course, that same creative director was himself sacked uh, because apparently, uh, when he was at school or something, he bullied a kid who was disabled and apparently boasted about it. I don't know. Ooh, might need to up the draw distance on this one. Uh, but this was after the um, the uh, chairman of the uh, Japanese organizing committee uh, was sacked for um, making sexist remarks. Uh, Mori, he, he used to be Prime Minister of Japan. He was kind of famous for um, saying dumb things then. Uh, but he apparently uh, made some remark when people suggested they need to have more uh, women on the Olympic Organising Committee. He said, oh, we'll have to make meetings longer then because women talk so much. So, ha 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 Amusing. Uh, that's what he got sacked for. People get very sensitive around these things. Anyway, in Japan, ordinarily, that wouldn't rate a mention. Uh, but he was replaced by a woman, of course. Chuff. for sexually harassing young athletes, young male athletes, but they're male so it's okay. I'm sorry about that, you're running towards me quite quickly, I quite like your outfit. This rain feels so realistic by its noise. I actually want to get indoors. Oh, I am right to do so. Sounds like it might be a couple of people. Is it one guy and the zombies gone down? Do I open up yours? No, I don't. astonishing just how many people got sacked in the run up to it and I thought I thought the opening ceremony was absolutely rubbish uh, some people seem to be saying it was good but people mention the kinetic signs but no one mentions the other parts and there are really only two other parts or maybe three if you count that weird kabuki thing they did Stats 
quickly about Japan's first superhero. They don't really mean superhero. Season it. Yeah, I thought the best Olympic opening ceremony ever was uh, Beijing 2008. Hey. Uh, I don't think anything has come close to that since. I thought the London one was rubbish too. Sochi one was okay. Um, so Winter Olympics, of course. Uh, but with the Winter Olympics being held in China in about six months' time, you know, that's how close it's ended up being. I'm curious to see whether China puts on another good one. I honestly thought the the Beijing opening ceremony was so good that there was no point in anyone else doing one ever again. Oh. There we go. I generally think Olympic opening ceremonies are rubbish. And the Japanese one looked like most of them do. What you do if you don't know what to do. Yeah, it felt like uh, doodling. Yeah, like you're on the phone or something, you've got a piece of paper in front of you and a pen in your hand. That's what it felt like to me. It's very short and there was nothing to it. I suppose there'll be one for the Paralympics. Um, I find the parade of countries was kind of weird as well. Because certain ones were missing. And no mention of it. And certain other ones were there and I found it incredibly surprising. You know, I was astonished that Afghanistan fielded a team. Uh, um, in fact, so did Syria. And then there's the, the weird team of refugees. It's, I, I find it kind of odd because I don't know what qualifies you. I'd always presumed that you got on that team if you were not currently a refugee. You had no country to call your own, but that's some of the best athletes on that. Uh, well, they live in Germany and stuff. Oh, so, yeah, you do have a country. You, you are able to train. Oh well. Last botheration. I'm really finding nothing. I found that tent early on and nothing's matched up to it since. For you. I don't want to kill you for. Yep, well done me. I, I wish 
find some dead people. sharpish because yeah dead zombie Seems like an astonishingly weird uh, sport to have. Seems like sexual objectification. Um, weird. That's okay. How is it different from volleyball? Oh, it's played on sand. Mm -hmm. but they got to have the girls in bikinis and stuff. Uh huh. coverage that 55% of the Japanese population are against them. Um, that's the nicest way of looking at those statistics. If you look at how many Japanese people were in favour of the Olympics going ahead, it wasn't 45%. Um, 
Hmm. Kind of weird. I'm sure the Chinese Winter Olympics are going to happen. Quite interesting because I don't really think of China as being a winter sport kind of place. Sure, they ought to be. Uh, the place is so blooming big, it's got everything kind of thing. But just as I wouldn't really go skiing in Eastern Europe, you know, I'd ski in Western Europe, which is fine. Eastern Europe, yeah. I'm, I, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure, plenty of people have enjoyed skiing in. The Czech Republic or whatever. Actually, that was another fun thing from the opening ceremony, was uh, watching what they called people. Um, because, you know, my wife is from Taiwan, and Taiwan is from late the Republic of China. Uh, but they never get to be the Republic of China because uh, China claims they're not an independent country and uh, they're still part of China and you know for all our brave words on the subject uh, our countries don't recognize Taiwan as being a country so I think I would start with that uh, before trying to pressurize China but the thing that always weirds me out is that the island of Taiwan. Taiwan is the main island. It's the name of it. Please don't tell me I've come in a big circle. <laughs> I don't think I have. Uh, but they don't get to compete under that. They have to compete as Chinese Taipei. This very weird rubbish flag. Uh, and it absolutely isn't theirs. Ah, oh, this is slow and noisy for no good reason. No, oh, well that's not lazy engine running. But I was very surprised when a group of athletes walked in with the name ROC. It's like ROC? Republic of China? No. It was the Russians. Uh, because Russia is banned from uh, the Olympics at the moment. Well, banned from international sport because of um, apparent systematic doping in Sochi. Um, don't really know much about that. But it means that uh, even in Formula One, uh, Nikita Mazepin, oh, as loved as he is, uh, doesn't compete as a Russian. I think he has to compete as RAF, Russian affiliate, whatever. Uh, but yeah, the Russian athletes walked in as ROC under their own weak flag, because uh, they're not allowed to fly the Russian one or say that they're Russia or play the national anthem. It's just, yeah, whatever. Seems weak. If you want to ban the Russians, ban the Russians. Oh, it wouldn't be fair on the athletes. It's like, well, then don't ban the Russians. Oh, we've got to do something. Well, I think we managed to choose the weakest way of doing things. But yeah, it was quite interesting to look at the names given uh, for many countries. Uh, because uh, the Czech Republic turned up as. Czech Republic. And they tried for a while to rename themselves Chechia. Yeah, if you hadn't encountered that, it, it's as weird as it sounds. Yeah, Chechia. Is it? But wouldn't people confuse that with Chechnya? Yep. And I don't know, some people are 
diehard uh, supporters of the Chechia name, so yeah, that's what they want to be called. But the Czech government gave up on it pretty quickly because no one was calling them that. It just didn't catch on. It's got sights now. So yeah, they went back to the Czech Republic and they walked into the Olympics as the Czech Republic. Or is that where it came from? Blast oh. oh, I'm weak. I need to drink something. Oh no, I've got nothing to drink. Well, I hear shots. I'm going to have to go for it. Yeah, I'd 
Mission 20. There's my vehicle. I've come in a circle. Oh no. Where is he? Thirst. Ah, 15. Yeah, I don't die of thirst. Wished. Pakistan. Of zombies. Oh no, there's me getting hurt now. Dying. Can I? Well, yeah, I'll temporarily stave off the effects, does it? fair video to uh, show off this mission. I've accidentally died of thirst it would seem. Ah, oh, being thirsty really hurts your arms.
though. Let it end this way. This is how it ends. This is how it ends. This is how it ends. Not with a bang, but a whimper. Almost a rabbit. The rabbit is my spirit guardian. It's come to accompany me to the next life. Because I said bad stuff about the Olympics. I must walk the path to my fumado. Mei fumado. a lemonade stand at the end of this route, maybe. Is that a river? A truck. Ah, uh, to definitely would banish myself. is Ravage Livonia. It is by Galvarez. Galvarez? Gal I'm not really sure. And it's an interesting take on Ravage in Livonia. There are some nice little extra features, even though I've completely failed to show them off. There are some nice tweakings of it. The, it is quite interesting having zombies work this way. Spend more time exploring that because for those of you who played uh, DZ as a mod, remember when zombies were actually a real challenge? I don't remember having to uh, absolutely sneak into towns uh, to avoid zombies, you know, crawl around buildings and things. Alright, pop that sound clipping. Ah, that truck seems impossibly far away, doesn't it? How am I doing? 23. I'm going to have to treat myself again. Is this the last first aid kit? Ah, that truck looks like it should drive. I believe we're 
steering off the inevitable for as long as we are. I say we because this is your fault too. Questions about that. That's a water tear, not, not a ball on a stick. Annoyingly. sense. You want to build your factory close to a water source. Ah, oh, it's a big town for a minute here. Ah, oh. oh! A water pump. I wonder if it works. Ah, oh, nothing to put it in. Am I health, uh, health wise? 50. That's not bad. I don't know if this work or whether I need to have something, a container. blurring. This way. Yeah, it seems right. It seems more downhill. <laughs> what a ridiculous way to do all this. Why not? I wonder what flattened that one. faster to get out and walk. In ordinary circumstances, maybe. Is that a river or am I just chasing a mirage? Chasing a mirage. I think it was a road. Ah, dear stand. I think it's this road.
there's no river, is there? Not that I was even sure I could drink from it. it somehow magically had a can of Franta or something. What is my health like? 27. Oh, and I've got radiation poisoning. Brilliant. Find some effort stayed in that town. <laughs> I don't know, I got radiation poisoning. It is a river. Ah, oh, come on. Is there a command for drinking? Am I going to die of thirst in a river? <laughs> yep. Died of thirst in a river. Well, this is Ravage Livonia. I'm sure you will do better at it than I will. Uh, than I did. Uh, this is by Galvaris, and I think it's an interesting one. Uh, I like the idea of changing the zombies. Very few people have done something like that. Um, and although I didn't really get to experience them, they're sort of hand-placed people who spawn after a time. Hmm, curious. So, yeah, go and have a look at this one. Um, I think Galvaris has got a Chernery's Redux mission as well. I shall be interested to have another look at this. Um, sometimes when I make videos, I actually don't release what I film the first time, if you see what I mean. Um, I'll film a video and end up being displeased with it, so I I won't release it. Sometimes I even upload them before changing my mind. This is the kind of video that I would ordinarily not release, but I wanted to show you this. And I thought, here's a chap who... Well, he's, he's got some comments and stuff on his, so... Yeah, it's worth taking a look at. Anyway. Ah, I seem to have absolutely screwed this up. <laughs> Died of thirst in a rubber. Until next time. Ta-ra!